And this for my Nagas on that nine. Hey, man, how many nines do y'all see? Count the nines, man. Hey, hey, let me know in the comments how many nines you see. Designs by Five Eyes, Mama, Jigga, what it do? Hey, man, dropping soon, man. The Naga, the Naga Nine edition. We spiraling up. Hey, sometimes in life, my Naga, you spiral up. Sometimes you spiral down. Spiraling down don't mean that you're doomed. It just means, hey, man, you know, it's like taking a step back to take a step forward. Sometimes you're going through things. Sometimes things get overwhelming. Sometimes you lose your grip a little bit, man. And, you know, I go through it, um, you know. Every nugget goes through these things, you know what I mean? And um, that that come up is amazing, man. That spiral up is amazing. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, when I look at this great design by Five Eyes Mom, man, I look at I look at the the spiral up, man, and I look at the journey when you know the spiral down, but it's still the same spiral. It's still the same nine spiral. So Who's on that nine with a knocker? Who's surfing that wave with a knocker? Sometimes you got to surf the wave up. Sometimes you surf the wave down. It's still the same water. It's still the same spiral. It's still the same wave, right? So stay on the wave, man. Be the water. Four plus three plus two is nine. You know, you in that nine code. You in those commandments, my naga. Hey, my naga, man. We in that four, three, two, man. Shout out my jigger, man. Hit up, hit up, uh, most high over everything on IG, man. Just look out for the latest designs, man. Let my know your inspiration. And I see this colorway right here, man, and all kind of different, you know, yellows and purples and different things too, man. We might just start off with the ether, <laughs> with the with the shaka wall, you know, so called black. Might start off with that, but you know, come with some great colors. And you can always email us m h o e k t c at gmail dot com, man. Be patient with us, my naga. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we spiraling up, you know what I mean? Because we ain't spiraling down. Hey, uh, Hebrew word of the day. Hebrew word of the day. Baba. Baba. <laughs> to my nagas. Hey, I'm just going to have some fun with this drop, man. I just got some stuff, man. We're going to just look at some things, man. I just miss y'all. And again, the water, man, uh, helping spread my wings, man. And, you know, just trying to make sure um, my flexibility, you know what I'm saying, my my versatility, my creativity, everything's on point, you know what I mean? Everything's spiraling up. Sometimes you, um, you know, can be putting so much energy, you know, on one thing, and, you know, you got to balance it, you know what I mean? So the water my nog is, man, I've been, you know, going through my own soul searching, man, just really taking a step, you know, and whatever flow, you know, if, if I wanted to write, I'll write. But when I have a conversation, I have a conversation, you know what I mean? But I know I got a lot of catching up to do, a lot of conversations to have great cons on the email, uh, a lot of text messages to get back to, a lot of things, man, a lot of DMs, whatever y'all hit me, a hop, man. And um, the water for loud and knocker to soul search, man, top of the soul bone. Look out for the soul bone podcast coming at you, man. Top that's on, let's go. CJ Battle, Brother Nature, let's go. We up, man. Aqua Sam, Chef Candy, Aki Clave, let's go, man. My Jigga, Yosef, let's go. Natural Bite Law, let's go. <laughs> hey, shout out to uh, J Law and my, my Naga Dizzle Fitty, let go, man. You know what I'm saying? All the cons, I really appreciate y'all for constantly zoning us up. And shout out to the Aquas, man. Uh, Mama T, Aqua Tracy Lay, Aqua. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate you so much, man. Leona Abbott, all the Aquas, man. Um, um, oh, man. Uh, uh, Tiffany, my Aqua Tiffany, you know who you are, man. We appreciate you. You know, all my Aquas, man, surfing the wave with us. And my Ox, you already know what time it is, man. So, hey, we, we swan nights. All right? Just, just, just stay with me, man. We swan nights, man. So when they talk about bars and bar bar this this is gonna keep coming up. You know, it's gonna be a constant theme. You're gonna hear about these pirates, and you know, just trust me, man. It just, it just might pop up uh, while we surf this wave, right? Because we've been surfing the wave a long time. A hop to the balcony surface, man. Been surfing the wave off the balcony. A lot of niggas don't don't even know what's up with the balcony, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, a few niggas do. A few niggas is still on the wave, nah, man. We got a whole, um, you know, beautiful, constant, you know what I mean? Like, 
our wave just keeps spreading, man. We, we've just seen the constant spread of this water, and it's not hard. It's very easy to explain what we do here. You know, we we keep the cold. You know what I mean? I ain't saying uh, you got to understand every Levitical uh, 613 law. I'm just saying, my naga, can you please keep the nine cold? You know, can you put the most high over everything? No vanity on her wise name. Managa, can we keep our Shabbat? No more killing our brothers, stealing from our brothers, our sisters. No covetous, no more jealousy, all that, man. No false witness in Managa. Honoring our Ama Abba above, Managa. Can we honor our Ama Abba, Ama Abba, Managa? No adultery, Managa. No mixing with lower vibration, you know what I mean? We got to keep pure water, pure water. Keep the cold, the cold, and any of these things you might have issues with, you know, uh, while you spiral up or spiral down. But the re the reminder and the remainder and the remembrance, my night, of who you are, my night is going to keep you uh, on the wave, and you're going to become the water because you are the water. You know what I mean? Just a oh, while, like yo, just stop killing your brother. Can we just start there? I, I'm not tripping on beards and fringes. You didn't get put in captivity because of your beards and fringes, man. I can show me that scripture. Show me that scripture. I don't like your beards. I don't like your fringes. Yeah, but we understand, you know, we got our customs, man. But our code is deeper than that. Not murdering our brother and not being on demon time is deeper than beards and fringes. It starts with... You know, most high over everything. And we can get back in code under one creator, man. The creator of heaven and earth, right? Hawa, hawa. Your breath, your security. Not taken in vain. No vanity. Because you don't want no vain breath. You don't want no vain security. Have your rest day. If you can't go 24 hours, you got a good 12. All right. Just don't trample the code. We understand things are happening in Hijack City. Sometimes Timmy got a basketball game. Sometimes, you know, yada, yada, yada. My naga, I'm not, you know, it's a thin line, you know what I'm saying? You know, we're so far from understanding that if you do it, you know, without wisdom, you can make someone really, you know, hate the code, you know, because you're just enforcing it like this and enforcing it like that. You know, just be a swan about this. Be a swan about it. Be a knight, my nigga. Be a con about it. With wisdom, you got to introduce the code. You got to, you know, show a nigga that the code is life. And pretty soon a nigga is going to want to rest. <laughs> All 24 of that shit by. You know what I'm saying? But if a nigga can have a steady flow, you know what I mean? And, you know, start to understand the beauty that Hawaii's put aside a day for you to rest. That's a beautiful thing because <laughs> we just keep going and going and going and you got an excuse to fall back. That's a beautiful thing. You got an excuse to, you know, focus on your breath, focus on your security, center yourself, balance yourself, check yourself, man. Hey, man, Shabbat to Shabbat. We can count to seven. We might not be on our calendar, but we can at least be unified in solidarity. Love to the Templar. And count, right? Count to six and then you rest. You know, oh man, I, I can't get home before sundown. Do your best, man. I can, don't, you know, it's just like Ecclesiastes, you know what I'm saying? There's, there's a energy of, you know, being too righteous and too, it's, it's, we get it. You know what I'm saying? Don't beat each other over the head. Oh man, you didn't just, you didn't do this perfectly, but don't trample the code don't trample the law don't just not give a dog on you know i don't i don't care it's done away with that's trampling that's when hawa come at you with dragon fire you know what i'm saying that's when you get separated from your great spirit your energy your source that's when you lose your land manaki that's when you're no longer a swan you know what i mean it's when you're no longer a swan I'm talking Sylvanus to Texas. Genealogy never connects this. Oh, bars. <laughs>
tribal music coming in high. I know we had a little break. Again, man, Monogan, you know, I appreciate y'all, man. I just, you know, I had to step, step, you know, in a good diagonal. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm right here in attack. <laughs> I'm still in attack, uh, you know, distance. You know what I'm saying? I'm not too far away. You know what I mean? I'm still in a good space. But uh, now, Monaga, we, we, we about to go on offense. You know what I'm saying? So, you know how we do. You know how we drop when we drop it. You know what I mean? So, just look out for us, man. Uh, Savannah's to Texas. Hey, shout out to my Naga, man. You know, this Naga right here has this uh, amazing uh, shop right here. Shop uh, Adika, A-D-I-K-A. -A. Let me get it bigger. A-D-I-K-A. -A. You, you know, you see it in the... Uh, in the browser too, man. Shop a d i k a dot com. That's my naga, man. He's a genius, man. Straight up painter, uh, creator, all that, and he incorporates a lot of the drop, man. You know, and brings it to life, man. And um, just beautiful visuals, you know what I'm saying? And this was his 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 joint on Sylvanus, man. Hey, he ain't no he ain't, he ain't on no play play, man. For Hano, hey. Call him Hano. Let's go, man. <laughs> For Hano, man. So, hey, go do that, man. Support the con. Make sure I leave a link below so you got the drop. Support the con. They got different type of drops. You know what I'm saying? Different type of drops. And uh, he included some of that uh, Forbidden History drop, man. I love it, man. Because he got the drop for real in 1775. Let's get it bigger. Shout out to Daniel Lowe. Even though we... We know he left out the all drop at the end, but let's focus on the swan. Because remember, Hebrew word of the day. Baba. 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 Swan. Okay. I'm talking Sylvanus to Texas. Genealogy. Never connects this. It's crazy. 775. Whose genealogy is going back to 775? Okay. So there's a kingdom. Right? The Moors want to call it Morocco. <laughs> Does Morocco go back to 775? In America? And would it be Morocco to Sylvanus to Texas? Because Kalelus was ruled by Sylvanus to Texas. I'm talking 775 AD, Nehemiah Theodoric reconquered the American Empire of Kalelus. Great book by Cyclone Covey. Go get it. <sighs> Stay tuned, man. Our drop library going to be back. We just built it on a, a whole new whole new, you know, <laughs> whole new ether, man. You know what I'm saying? We just kept getting attacked and hijacked with the other website. This is our third website we're building, Managa. You've been, again, you've been surfing away from the beginning. You know, you know, the energy and, and the effort, man, that the tribe goes into securing our drop. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm going to stay cool. I, I could, I don't want to lose my, you know, I don't want to lose my cool, but, you know, it really pissing me off, you know what I mean? That I gotta keep rebuilding this website from scratch. From scratch. You know what I'm saying? So this time around, you know, just linking with a great IT night. Great IT night. So I don't gotta keep doing this, my night. Cause I got other things that we gotta do. We gotta pop off the Soul Bone podcast. I gotta drop some great new music from Yosef to Real. We gotta have a listening party. My Jigga's new new uh, album, EP, whatever, you know, his 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 pack. We gotta drop all this, man. We got new tribal music. We got everything happening. We got Nagaville, the TV series. My Naga, we got all this drop coming out, you know, in, in dialogue. Imagine characters, you know, within this drop, my Naga, so that we can have our own entertainment that got the drop in it for our family nights, you know what I'm saying? For, Real Naga Entertainment in Nagaville, man, where everybody's coming up on the drop. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing like this. I got a book to write. I got books to write. I ain't got, I got, I got, now I got to rebuild a website again. You know what I'm saying? So 
All this stuff makes a Naga gunner just step at a diagonal, still in attack distance. You know what I'm saying? Still ready to go upside the head bone, but got to step off the line a little bit. Just do some soul search. Get You know, I got a frequency up for the remainder of the fifth wave. We still got to finish the fifth wave, my Naga. Don't think, don't think we was done. <laughs> we got a lot of drop to read live in the radio, live in the ether. I know you've been getting fluty. Hey, hey, hey out to the cons, be getting fluty. Y'all, if y'all surfing the wave with me now, I know you're going to surf the wave with me forever, my night. And believe it, man, my night, I'm surfing the wave with you forever, my night. Wherever you at, <laughs> just feel the frequency, man. The only thing I owe you, my night, is. It's the code up, you know what I'm saying? Code up, man. And that's all you owe me, my nigga. It's the code up, man. Don't mean you perfect, I'm perfect, we perfect. It means that we ain't going to trample the law. That we always going to come back to perfection no matter what. That's a beautiful thing of King David. They try to say he, they try to say he killed him, man. But then you see how much Ahab, how much love Hawa got for David, how much love... Mama got for David, for Solomon. And you're like, as much as they messed up, supposedly, because, you know, this could be malarkey, you know, but as much as they messed up, supposedly, man, Hawaii got so much love for Dawi, just like you and me. Just don't trample the code. You got children. You let them slide, but don't trample my law. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't. Don't play me like that. You know what I mean? That's how Hawaii is. You know what I mean? You, you got to do that. You got to be on timeout. <laughs> or you're going to be uh, <laughs> getting your ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? So we just coming out of getting our asses whooped, man. Personally and directly by Hawaii, we begin our buzz kick. You know what I'm saying? Because we've been out of code. Just code up with a nugget so we can rise together. No more trampling the law. Let's go. I'm talking Sylvanus to Texas. Genealogy never connect this. Wow. Swan. Baba. Swan. Barbary. <laughs> Bravo. Hmm. <laughs> what is Bravo? Have to do with Baba. Hebrew word of the day. Birdman hand rub. Because genealogy never connects this. It's crazy. It's crazy talk. But in 775 AD, according to Daniel Law. Nehemiah Theodoric reconquered the American Empire Calendars, which means that he has family ties to the Empire of America, right? But we ain't talking Morocco. But they want you to think everything was Morocco. And if it wasn't Morocco, it wasn't shit. We talking promised land. But you need to know your Hebrew promised land has more to do with, you know, uh, Jerusalem than any Morocco that wants to claim Jerusalem or Jerusalem. Yeah, your Kalelus has everything to do with the tabernacle, with the Garden of Eden, with the Promised Land. Not Morocco. Right, so I, I, we got to clarify what America really is, not through the lens of a hijack. You love to, you know, whoever is rocking with whatever, you know what I'm saying? But you need to know that there's more to Kalelus than Morocco or Moab, right? Because other than Moab, you got Sylvanus Bravo. And you can't claim Sylvanus. You can't claim Solomon II as a Moabite. Ammonite, Jebusite, Edomite, Canaanite. 
No, man. You have a tribe of Yahuda, Hawauda, right? You got the tribes of Israel, right? Asherah. Kalelus was ruled by some Venus to Texas, who is Solomon. <laughs> so you got a hard hit for Solomon in America. The builder, right? Just like David was later named, known as David the builder. Uh, man, I mean, even in Game of Thrones, they got some type of play off of that. The hereditary ruler of this former Jewish or Hebrew ruled Romani colony. Remember, Roman is taken from Romani, which means pomegranate, because the pomegranate was a symbol that Moses and Joshua was in the promised land. So the pomegranate refers to the promised land, which is where they're getting Remon, R-I-M-O-N. It's the Hebrew word that means pomegranate, referring to the promised land, which they turn to Roman. Watch the vowels. Watch the vowels. And now they got Roman as some white culture of Jewish people in America in 775 AD. Well, that's crazy, boss. Because that means that Columbus rolled up on you. That means that you are the author of the Toltecs. Who? The Jewish? Come on, man. Are you saying? The Toltecs, the Aztec, <laughs> also the Native American comes from the Jewish. Ah, you are saying that, but you're saying it like in the Matrix or something. You're referring to us as the Hebrew. Gotcha. That makes more sense than somebody who converted in 800, 900 A.D., to Judaism, <laughs> ruling America, Kalelus, for all these eons of years. Instead, you have Hebrews ruling Ramani, pomegranate, promised land. And who's ruling the Hebrews? King Solomon. Come. Are we saying that instead of the B.C.s, King Solomon was really ruling in the 8th century? What's the meaning of the Dark Ages? Why did we lose all this history? Did they add over a thousand years on all niggas, <laughs> on all timelines? <laughs> all niggas got over a thousand years, all indigenous lands. They add over a thousand years, sometimes 1800 years. Anatoly, for the man called, what'd he say? But let's say it was 775 that King Solomon was ruling. It could be 1775, as long as, as far as we know, my nigga, because they added over a thousand years to all indigenous people on all indigenous lands. So does, does this story make more sense? Kalelus was ruled by Sophanus to Texas, Solomon the Builder, hereditary ruler of the former Jewish Roman colony. Does that make any sense? Have you heard of a Jewish Roman colony, my nigga? This is... This is it's Cappadocia, right? <laughs> Natural by NBL, take the wheel. <coughs> it's Cappadocia. Nah, man. Nah, man. I think it makes more sense that Kalelus was ruled by Solomon, King Solomon, who's the hereditary ruler, which means he, he got his kingship from his daddy, right? Hereditary. Ah, uh, so now who's the daddy of Solomon? Now we're talking David, but behold that no. Hold that no. Kalelus was founded. Wait, wait, wait. Solomon, the builder, hereditary ruler of the former Hebrew ruled promised land Romani colony. Now we're talking, right? Now we're talking. So let's keep this in mind. Kalelus was founded in the first century BC by the Babylonian Axelar. It doesn't mean he's from Babylon. It means that during these Babylonian captivity situations, the Exilarch is the leader of the Hebrews, is the Khan. You know what I'm saying? 
So the Khan in the first century BC on their timeline, known as Sylvanus Oga, he's the founder, they're saying, of Kalelos. Hmm. Now we know these Nagas is living. Well, they had the founding of youth, right? Press the child, right? Look out for Press the child. Where we at? Y'all let me know. Y'all leave a comment because I seem to forget. Where do we leave off <laughs> in the Press the John investigation? Let me know where we at. Y'all leave. Y'all let me know, man. And uh, we at y'all, man. You know, when we up, we up. We spiraling up. You know what I mean? But we got to stay on the spiral. Huh? Can't get out of whack. Can't lose your cool. Got to surf the way. No matter what you going through. Stay on the wave, my life, until you become the water. First century Babylonian exilog known as Sylvanus Ogab or Sylvanus Bravo. This Bravo is where they're getting the Barbar. Bravo, right? Solomon the second. So it lets you know a couple things. The Solomon line goes back even before King David. And the David title also goes back before King David. And this is what we've been getting in the present John drop. You know, you could take the biblical flow, but it expands so much, man, when you start, you know, using a, a dragonfly perspective. You know what I'm saying? You see all this history, you start to unfold and just, you know, come on out. You know what I mean? You start looking at it. <laughs> You know, just the genealogies, right? You know, you start surfing away with the right spots. You know what I mean? And you'll see more Solomons. You'll see more Davids going back, back, back. I mean, when you look at the biblical flow, it looks like it's coming, you know, post. Well, some, be, you know, when we talk about the Great Flood, you can connect that with the Atlantis flow. And, but there's a history before that. You know what I mean? It's, it's We're just starting to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. And these titles go back. Before where they're picking up, you know, when it comes to Israel that we know, we think, oh, Israel is just a new situation, man. These Solomons and Davids and this, we're going back, you know, we got to go back into the kingdom of Georgia, right? The, the Georgian flow, the Georgian and the Babylonian flow, all connect to the same Persian captivity, uh, Darius situation. I mean, we, we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. <laughs> you see, I'm ready to pop off. We're talking Nazi of Mara, ruler of Sumer. Whoa. Now, in parentheses, they say Somerset in Britain. Or we could be talking Sumer. Remember, remember all your ancient history, a lot of it, man, is coming out of more recent times. A great Remani Hebrew ruler. God, okay. Soldier. An ancestor of the Swanites or Babar, right? Okay, okay. I reloaded. Babar. Hebrew word of the day. Swan. Now, I just have, I have a lot of fun talking Swan. You know, drop talk Swan very well. Because Managa, if you're Swan Knights in America, then they didn't just come over here and find a bunch of Indians, man. All right, you got to you gotta choose which narrative <laughs> you about to go. If we talking Knights, we talking Knights, all right? We talking Dragons, we talking Knights, you dig? We talking high-tech Nagas, just like the City of Gold cartoon. You talking flying golden condors. You talking other type of things. That's when they're talking about these... Mud floods and Tartarian, yada, yada. All that is our stuff, man. All that belongs to the Swan Knights, man. They're covering it all up, right? They're decimating all this stuff, repurposing all this stuff. Beautiful post offices, gone. World Fair, gone. Whatever excuse they can use to decimate history. Swan Knights, man. Bye bye. So, all this is to say, when they talk Barbary, <laughs> Don't let them pigeonhole you and just say, oh, Barbary means this. Barbary means that. Barbar means swan. Let's start right there. I'm speaking Hebrew. <laughs> I'm going back to the beginning. <laughs> Stop playing. You can't play with my mind bone when I go back home. Hey, can we put this on a shirt? You can't play with my mind bone 
when we go back home. Hey, can y'all leave that in the comments so I don't forget to put that on a shirt for Drop Nation. Look out for the Drop Shop. We got y'all, man, because we're bringing back all our slogans, man. <laughs> Can't play with our mind bone when we come back home. Swan, Hebrew. Okay. All right. Hebrew word of the day. Birdman hand rub. Babar. We are not just talking swan. We're talking knights. You're talking your ancestry. You're talking King Solomon. David. Uh, David, cold word, bravo. David, David is also a Solomon. <laughs> oh, boy. Ruler of Sumer. Oh, boy. We're talking Romani, pomegranate, Hebrew, ruler, right? Khan, Nagus, Naga, Nega, Khan. Hey, I'll despise one. We're going to get this clip. Hey, Y'all want to have some fun? Surf the wave on the IG, man. We be dropping a lot of stuff, man, lately, man. And we'll make sure you catch it all. They, the, we popping off, man. The drop is hot. Well, you know, that's all I'm going to say, man. The block is hot. The drop is hot. And we popping off as Drop Nation. You dig? <laughs> Barbara Hakazim, man. He also had the fleet of trading vessels known as the ships of Salimah or Swan. The Swan boats. The ships are shaped like a swan with the sails like the wings of a beautifully, beautiful gliding white swan. And after the defeat of Sylvanus to Texas, the members of the royal family were sent back to Europe, which means that there was already the royals, right? European royals that were some Hebrews, whether they were Israelite, whether they were Moabite, still under the title banner of the Eber, Eberu, you know, the Eberu banner, you know, which Moors were really expelled in 1492 out of Spain, the Eberu. Or just the Israelite. And then the Israelite was rolled up on here in 1492, so called by Columbus. 1492. It's a lot of happening in 1492. But after the after the defeat of Sylvanus to Texas, King Solomon, the members of the royal family were sent to Europe where they were under protection of Nehemiah and his family. All right, then they cut out. The Olmec part, because it says the legends of, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, something like where the, where the Olmec heads are found. It says the legends of Ogier the Dane, son of Godfrey, Dune of De Mayens, actually refer to Tawatha, De Dadad, or Dune. So all this mythos is about you, my knight. You in America in 775 and before that. You with the kingdom. What did they really find when they came to America, Jack? Did they bring you on a boat as an African slave? Or did they just repurpose you, reteach you, reprogram you his story? Birdman Henry. Because this Tawatha business, man, all that Braveheart business, Scotland business, all this is about the Negus, man. The knocker, the nigger. Also known as man and man or man. So do nan is man and man. Or man, which used to be in the four corners. Now it's over in the East Coast, right? Maine, Rhode Island. But Rhoda, Kingdom of Rhoda was right there in the four corners in the old maps. Facts. The Irish legend of Regama. We got to dig on that. Also allude to this family. So, what family? Swan Knights. On Swan Boats. The Baba. American Empire of Kaleidos. So, when we talk Swan, we talk Baba. Speaking Hebrew. When we talk Barbari, we're talking the Knights, the Kingdom of America, my knight. You know, this is just as we surf the wave and 
keep that in mind. You know, let's just jump into it, man. Have some fun on on the IG, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, dropping soon, man. Look, look forward to us spiraling up with my naga ma. Rip time and battle time, man. Cause how many nines? <laughs> I count. I count infinite nines. Hey, this is pretty dope. I mean, we might as well just jump into it. Might as well just jump into it. I'm going to look at this uh, president, man. Uh, one of the ox sent me the president. Ron, brother Ron. Hey, hi, brother Ron sent me the president. <laughs> What's happening with this president? Let's go. <laughs> what are we seeing out here? That's crazy. What is it? What is this weird thing in this? Is it fireworks that swirls around? <laughs> Some cold fireworks, Jack. I don't think my phone sees it no more. I mean, I mean that's some cold fireworks, Jack. This thing seems to have a mind of its own. E.T. phone home, huh? The Preston. <laughs> Shout out to my Nagas, man. Hey. Somebody know. Yeah. Um, now you know, you tell me. Right. <laughs> you got the drop, you got the drop. But there ain't no crash landing here. Seems to be intelligent flight. Popping off, throwing some stuff out there. Those things look like fireworks that it popped off, but who knows what it is? This thing just did a whole loop, and then it's going to double back as if it forgot something. Huh. You know what, partner? I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to blaze back this way. Home slice. I'm just going to slice back this way. Check up on the Nagas over here one more time. Don't worry, I'm not landing anywhere soon. I'm just... Floating like the pressed. <laughs> dragons are meteors. Meteors are dragons. Dragon drop. Okay, okay. I mean, that's a good start. <laughs> Gotta have some dragon drop, man. Let's let's talk Barbary. You know, while we while we talking Barbary, let's talk Barbary, man. Let's go. Old and beards are Tartarian and, and Barbarian explained by the only beards the beards. Okay, if you're into Tartaria, you should be into Barbaria too, because they're the same word. Tartaria means east of Rome, because we have a Roman history, guys. Remember, we have a Roman history. Tartaria means east of Rome. Barbaria means west of Rome. That's why you have Berbers in North Africa that are black, and you have Barbarians in Germany and Scandinavia that are white. Look, because you got a dragonfly perspective, I'm just going to drop it, right? I see something. Okay, yeah, man, let's just drop it and, you know, comment on it and surf the wave, get the babies out the bathwater. I never say any of these jabronis got the drop. So sometimes sometimes people comment like, drop, why do you think such and such? I'm reposting something I think of interest to the investigation. I'm reposting something of interest to our wave. You did. Don't think I agree with any jabroni, even 70%. He's telling you what barbarian means. I just got finished talking for dang near 30 minutes, talking about swan knights, right? He didn't mention swan knights. He just says barbarian means east of Rome or <laughs> west of Rome. Man, look, man. Barbar, my nigga. Barbar. Barbar. Swan. Hebrew word of the day. Cut. Barbar. Swan night. Cut. The night that has the trading vessels. Oh, the ships of Salimah. Salimah the builder. American Empire of Kalelu. They shop. Adika.com, man. Click the link. So when we talking about bar, we know Barbar Swan Knight has everything to do with the Kingdom of America. 
not just everything east to west and west of Rome. And Rome, again, is Romani. Romani means pomegranate in Hebrew. Pomegranate refers to the promised land, Manak. So Rome has to do with America, promised land. That's why they're trying to connect Jewish, uh, Jewish, uh, Romans. How do we know we're talking Hebrew? Remani, pomegranate, Lego. It's a Roman perspective history. Okay, so Barbaria and Tartaria are the same thing. Well, in the Barbary Wars, where America was fighting wars, we were fighting Morocco, Mauritania. Um, Stop going too fast. Love to uh, <laughs> narco long ago, though, man. I yeah, appreciate the dig in um, Old World Florida as well. You know, uh, Royal Sons also for dropping this. And my big homie, man, Marquise, man, Marquise Diamond. Always sharing great, great drop, man. Day one Naga, man. So, all right, man. So, um, okay. The USA has been fighting the Moors, right? Let's, let's address it. With a dragonfly perspective, I'm just going to surf the wave with you. I don't know what we're talking about. I don't know what this drop's going to be called. Just click on it. Surf the way. I know you miss having a nice long drop. I've been dropping, you know, short, shorter snippets, shorter droplets. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm getting more time on my hands, man. Come back home, man. And just, uh, you know, hold on to your boot bones because when the drop start dropping, then we dropping, you know, uh, uh, waterfalls. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be uh, Orinoco flow. It's going to be Orinoco flow. You did? Yeah, all right, so. The U.S. can't be really fighting the Moors, you see, because they have a treaty. <laughs> so who other than who you think are the Moors, right? Who are they fighting if it's not the ones making the treaty? All right, now we're getting into different factions of Moors. Some would say, oh, those are the dirty Moors. Da -da -da -da. Moor? I want more time to um, sleep sometimes. I want more pomegranate juice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want a greater amount. When I talk more, I'm talking great. All right, you want to connect it to blackness if you want to, or this if you want. All right, man. But so who are the greats that the corporation, when he says we, 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 he's taking the perspective of hijack city hijack city has been fighting the moors but the moors have a treaty to this day with hijack city the moors really popped off hijack city <laughs> they're interconnected so i don't really buy the fact that they're just at war with the moors really at any time because <laughs> a faction of these moors seem to be behind things to this day but now we might be talking boule. I don't know. I don't have the answers, but we sure do start asking the right question. Algeria, I think, these Moorish countries. That was in the uh, 18, early 1800s, mid-1800s, the Barbary Wars. That's after the Kumse War. Now, would the Kumse then be considered more? They are dark-skinned. They are copper color. They are niggas. They are nagoose. They are niggas. But why wouldn't they be under the banner? We know you. We, we, wait. We know the USA is fighting to come, say. Hold up, hold up, man. They about to get drop started. I'm just trying to kick back. Because America's been at war. How long? Uh, man, come on. America. <laughs> Ninety-three percent of the time, something crazy. You know, I wish I always had enough space to keep all these links up, man. Come on, man. I'm we deciphering with a dragonfly perspective. Sometimes they talk too fast, and I drop it, and you know it's for you to dig deeper. And sometimes we're gonna do it together. Come, on. all right. It's all good. It's all good. And on trip, I'm going to get it back so I can know exactly what he's saying. But it seemed like he said something is happening around the early 1800s, mid-1800s. 
Now we got the Barbary Wars. Where's the Barbary Wars? Bang. The Barbar is Hebrew word of the day. Barbar, swan. These are the swan night wars, my naga. That's connected still to the empire of Kalelus, Sylvanus to Texas. You know what I'm saying? King Solomon, King Dawi. These Barbar wars are still connected with the children of Israel. All right. Very, put it, put it real simple. These are Israelite wars in America. Continuing well past when we was having our family war that we were reading about with Sylvanus to Texas and uh, Nehemiah Theodorus, you know, Theodorus, oh, this is a family war, just like in the Bible, right? <laughs> David, David on David war, Solomon on, you know, all this stuff. Uh, David's sons having a war, all this stuff, right? We, we, we know we infight. We have family infighting. But because of our infighting, not just as Israel, but, you know, as Hebrews, right? As the Ebers, right? Israel versus Moabites and all that. When it came time to treaty up for us, for our sake, because a treaty could be a good thing if it's for Hawa, right? <laughs> Hawa wants a treaty with you, right? As a brother, I want a treaty with my brother. They're making treaties with the hijack on the headbone of Tecumse, on the headbone of Dragon Canoe, and the Shikamagwa. And the first people they had to go head up with, Managa, is the Shikamagwa. So you better put some respect on the Shikamagwa. Because in 1776, when they are declaring their USA Corporation, they had to first face the Shikamagwa. The Cherokee that made no treaties because everybody else wanted to make treaties. And the Cherokee is like a big banner, like Hebrew. So... The Moors would fit under that banner of Karakee or Cherokee. But when we get back to the Karakatai and start talking tribal and Wong Kong, Preston John, King David, then they fizzle out because they don't fall under the banner of David, under the house of David, where the covenant of peace, Psalms 89, covenant of Shalom is with to this day. Stop playing with us, man. We're talking tribal. Shikamaga Wars for the first 20 years, my nugget. Now you're saying the Barbary War happened a few years afterwards. It had nothing to do with the Shikamaga. It had nothing to do with the Shikamaga. And then you continue with the Kumse, who has everything to do with Shikamaga, because the Kumse was fighting in the Shikamaga Wars. The, the Kumse is fighting in this war under Dragon Canoe. Then Dragon Canoe dies, right? He gets killed suspiciously. <laughs> huh. We could go into that, man. I think that's an investigation. Who killed Dragon Canoe? But now Takumse take over. He tries to unify the tribe. Death of Takumse. But the same Nagas, the Seminole, the Creek, the same Nagas that was with him from the beginning. All these creeks, these Cherokee, these creeks, these Seminoles, these were all the Nagas with the Kumse from the beginning. We got the story right. It's, it's a more and more war. Other dark skinned people wanted to make treaties with these other dark skinned people that were all tribed up against the Kumse, against Israel. That's how they took America. So when he says the U.S. is fighting the Moors, I don't, under fucking, I don't, I don't understand. How could you be fighting the same people that you treated up with to go against the Sheikah Mahab? Huh? The Barbary Wars are within this. These are the same Barbars. These are the same swans. These are the same American empire of Kalelus. These are Hebrews under King Solomon and King David, Queen Khalifa, Queen Sheba. What? 
Hawashua, Joshua, what? Moses? Come on. So when they talk Barbary, man, stop playing. Why you playing? Can't talk Barbary to us. We know what Barbar, we talk swans. These are the same swans that's connected, obviously, with the Shikamagua and Tecumse. And after Tecumse, these same tribes were still at war. So this is still all of the Tecumse war, just an extended version of it, because they were rocking with the same tenants, the same code. No treaties, Shikamagua style. All this. Then you get Texas Indian. Now we're talking about the Karan Kahawa, right? Joseph and them, right? Huh? <laughs> American Civil War, man, come on. So the Civil War or Civil Rights, <laughs> it's all the same American Nagas. The Civil War and Civil Rights is all the same American Nagas, which is why Martin Luther King, Civil Rights, had everything to do with the Native Americans, man, right? Because you're talking about the American, the American Empire of Kalelus, which means promised land. Kalelus means promised land. Let's go. We're just talking swan. We're talking barbar. Huh? <laughs> Let's go. As soon as we won the Barbary Wars fighting North African Moorish pirates, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. As soon as we won the we who? Okay, this replace we with hijack. As soon as the hijack won the Barbary War. Okay. The Barbary War that lasted four years <laughs> and continued into the Kumse War. As soon as they won the Barbary War, Which means it's almost like the Barbary War. You know, we, we got to really break this stuff down, man. But it was like the conclusion of the Shikamago Wars. Because this quasi war, no major war, according to who, we were still getting attacked, man. So they kept on offense. This is the invasion. America's been at war 100% <laughs> of the dang time. 100. Because they have to stay. They have to keep their foot on your neck because they're invading you. They can't let up. Has America ever let up on any country it's invaded? Look at the Middle East and all that. They're still there, right? So they're still here, right? <laughs> God. No major war. Yeah, okay. Now we got the Barbary War. All right. Which is all connected with the Kumse. Let's go. I'm going to get that back. That's what he was talking about. Pirates, right? Pirates. Came to me. I said, what was he saying? Pirates. Okay, piracy. <laughs> Look at all this piracy, right? Look at all this piracy. So the piracy and the barbary is the same damn thing. And the barbary is the swan or the swan knight of the American Empire of Kalelus, Promised Land, Remani. The Barbary are the same pirates. Now, what's he going to say about the pirates, right? You can't say they're different people, my naga, because the Shikamaga been fighting these hijacks. So if America wins anything, it's against the same Shikamaga. If America wins anything, it's against the same people that you think they're different people that didn't rock with each other? No, or else they wouldn't be fighting. Because <laughs> they rocking. They rocking out at this point. It's it's up, right? It's all the way up. Shikamagwa. Shikamagwa. Can't say Shikamagwa got nothing to do with the barbar. -bar. You can't say the barbar -bar got nothing to do with who you're calling pirates. Because now you got an issue with the pirates and the Seminole. And the Seminole is locked in with the Kumse. 
So the pirates, by default, are also locked in with the Kumse. And the Kumse is still locked in with Dragon Canoe and the Shikamaru that popped it all off because they didn't want to make no treaties with you. So the Shikamaru leads into the Barbary, which leads into the piracy, anti-piracy war. Which continues, my naga, into the same Shikamago Seminole War Creek. Because they all locked in. They locked in. The Seminole the Creek, for real, for real, locked in with the Shikamago Cherokee. Not just any Cherokee. We're talking piracy. All right, my bad, my bad, my busy. I just wanted some clarity. Let go. What happened in America? The age of piracy in South Florida. The Navy. The U.S. Navy immediately left North Africa and came to the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean and Key West, and they enacted martial law in Key West in the name of fighting piracy. So who were these pirates that, that they were fighting that just popped up in Key West? It's crazy, Jack, because we just asked the same question. Who were these pirates that just popped up? Or were they already here? Shikumago, Shikumago. We're talking about the people. Karaka, Cherokee, we the people, already here, not just popping up. Well, Florida was acquired in the uh, late 18 teens, early 1820s, right? Officially, in 1820. They make it sound so smooth. Florida was acquired. All that bloodshed just leads into it being acquired. Damn, man. Hijack City, man. Got away with word. He said officially in 1820. I'm glad we got some uh, chronologies up. That's crazy. 1820, we're talking an anti-piracy war. Ping pow. Hey, can I get a little ping pow? However you want to do it in the comments, just, you know, explosions, you know, ping pow. We're talking the same year. My now you see I'm just surfing away with this uh, good researcher here. Just drop nation with a dragonfly perspective. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for flying airdrop, air ether. Uh, hold on to your boot bones. But we are reaching a cruising altitude. It's all good to, you know, unstrap and uh, walk around the cabin and get cozy, my nigga. Because <laughs> we in the ether, man. Anti piracy war. 1820. Has everything to do with the more and more. I mean, when was the Treaty of Pieces and Friendship? Are you talking like, what, 1778 ish? Oh no, 86, somewhere around right here? So they made. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, Jack. The USA can't be fighting the Moors if the Treaty of Peace and Friendship already happened. If they're already locked in, if the hijacks are already locked in during the Shikamaga War, which are the Israelites. Seeds of Jacob already are locked in against Jacob, right? Because they're all melanated, copper color. This is a family war. Tribe on tribe. This is tribal war. Great on great. For the promised land, Kalelus. And if their treaty of peace and friendship already happened, 1786, and by the time we're talking Barbary War, Jack, the USA can't be fighting them all. <laughs> no. Because the Barbar are the Swan Knights, the same Swan Knights that you've been fighting. Shikamagua, Shikamagua, Shikamagua. At your front door. They gonna pay their weight in Aztec gold. They're going to pay their weight in Aztec go. Shikamagua are the swans. These Barber Moors you're talking about are already locked in with the USA <laughs> in 1786. They're on the same team fighting the Shikamagua which are the Barbar Swan Knights, which are the pirates. Just rename, reclassify. Tecumseh's 
Nagas. These are the Kumsays Nagas. 1820, let's go. There was not a single permanent resident in Key West. By 1830, Key West was the richest city in America. How is that possible? That's crazy, right. and, and we're told that it was all due to pirates that were making such good money. And sh- 1830. <laughs> Nothing to see here, boss. No, no major war, boss. Nothing to see here, boss. But it's the richest. We're talking Key West, right? Is was that Florida? Nothing to see here, boss. We got all the gold. We the riches. We the riches. Because you done did all this slaughter. Look at all this slaughter. Look at all, Every time it says war, think about Nagas dying. Death, death, death. Death, 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 death on the Swan Knight. Death, 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 death on the Sheikh of Mago. On the Pen of Might. You dead. On the Northwest Indian. Even the Quasi Nagas. <laughs> Uh oh, Spanish hell, Florida. You just said Key West. Hey, can I get another ping pal? Even if you already did a ping pal, can I get like a different version of your ping pal? Just so I know we popping off. Ping pal. And hey, we slicing and dicing, man. We cutting through Hijack City. But shout out to Old West Florida. Or, you know, uh, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Shout out to you, man. You know, Old Florida. Because it got us popping off. So I appreciate you, man. We're talking 1810 when the Spanish held uh, Key West, Florida. <laughs> so this Key West situation is all about Tecumseh, man. And the Chicamago and the Swan Knights and the American Empire Kaleos. Period. Factos. It's all about the Seminole and it's all about the Creek. It's all about the Choctaw, right? He's in 1830, right before they get right back into this Cherokee, Black Hawk, Sack and Fox situation. More Chicamagua, more Nagas, more Israelites. And he said in 1830, they bragging about being the richest city. Well, you invaded Florida 20 years before that. You've been invaded. Finally, you got some holding spot, and you say, now we the richest city. We are dissecting hijack city. Shipwreckers and uh, divers, treasure divers. Well, I guess all these pirates were doing their taxes if, if Florida, you know, if Key West became the richest city in America. And it was the most populated city in Florida. One problem. There was no bridge. <laughs> you had to get there by boat. So so these pirates can't be pirates in the sense of some thieves. These pirates must be the actual landowners that you took their stuff from. And now you're claiming to have their stuff and claiming to be the richest city. Meanwhile, the population is decreasing. Why is it decreasing? Drop. Because of the more and more war. And mind you, the people you fighting look just like you, my nigga. That's the cold part about it. That's the heartbreaking part. That's the cold. That's the ice cold part. The people that are invading us look just like us. Even Tecumseh is fighting against the Choctaw in the Tecumseh War. Brother on brother. They didn't want to tribe up against the hijack. They wanted to go under the Pieces and Friendship Treaty. How much hatred must you have, you know what I mean, to, to kill your own brother? But we see it today in these streets, right? Bloods and Crips. GDBD, right? Or GDGD, or blood on blood, or crip on crip, or nigga on whatever, nigga. It's like, it's happening, man. It hurts. But we've been doing it. We've been trained 
We've been doing it. They didn't even have to train us, man. We've just been doing it. That's why part of our nine code, which they call the Ten Commandments, but code number one and code number two are the same transgression. No power before your ba- no power before your power. Don't make no graven images and worship them. All this is no power before your power. Most high over everything. They split it into two. I wonder why. Maybe to get you out of your nine, out of your spiral. So our nine code tells us not to murder your brother so that you can't be used in these wars. But maybe they're not being used. Maybe they're doing the using. And that gives us the blues. <laughs> maybe they're doing the using, right? By the time to get to 1930, they declare Key West the richest country or whatever. You know what I'm saying? How much did they take? And they continued to kill and slaughter after that. To keep it. They got to keep it now, right? They got to kill and slaughter. Now they go to Texas. Then they go to Mexico. Then we got some more Seminole Indian Wars. The Seminole, man, <laughs> it didn't stop. They had to wipe the Seminole out, damn it, right? Because the Seminole didn't stop. We're talking Shem. Shemino. <laughs> Managa, this is all you. When were you a slave? I, I'm trying to figure this out. When did you have time to become a homeborn slave? You got brought over from Africa? Then who were all these Nagas? Who were these Nagas? They don't really rep this history like you, my nugget. It's hard to rep something that, you know, it's hard to say you was on the front lines of something you weren't on the front lines of. You're the only group of nuggets that no one knows where you came from. <laughs> right? They just call you black now. They just kept invading. Then they go into Mexico, Mexico, the Mexicans, right? Now Mexico looks completely different than it did when they get when they went there. They took your titles here. They took your titles there. They took your titles everywhere. Invasion after invasion. Then they go at Haiti, IET. Shout out to my IET Nagas, man. Hawaii Nagas, man. The Hawaii. And they go to my Philippine Nagas. And you know what these Nagas was looking like. We've been here before. Just Nagas. Dark skin, copper skin, copper colored Nagas. Right? Banana Wars. Uh, cold word Nagas. They call you monkeys, right? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Now we get to World War II. <laughs> Where's World War One? I? I think World War One was just about you. Did we skip World War One? Yeah, we just killing Nagas, 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 Nagas. We just killing a bunch of Nagas. I don't think we skip World War One. I. I think you are World War One. I. <laughs> I think killing Nagas is World War One. Killing dragons is World War One. And killing dragons is World War Two. No major war. Suddenly, World War Two. Cold War. Now we're talking South Koreas and and Vietnam's, right? A lot of our parents and our peoples was in this, being used against other Nagas. It's the reason why they came home and no one celebrated. Look at this man. Now they in Afghanistan. Now they in, now they in Iraq. Now they in Iraq. Shikamago, Shikamago, Shikamago. They want to go to piracy. They want to talk. Eighteen thirty, Key West, the richest, richest uh, land on earth. What was going on in Key West, where it was in a matter of nine years went from not having a single person living there to being America's richest city? What happened? Hijacks. Well, it was pirates. It was the barbers, the burbers, the cinemas, the people. 
Uh, they showed. Uh, hold on. So, so you're saying, saying they, they, moved in. they just moved in with all their pirate booty? Come on, man. Come on, man. Hijack. Just can't keep a straight face, man. But if you notice, he said Semitic people, right? He said it real quick. But we're talking Shem, like the Seminole. Semitic Seminole. Shem. We're just talking Shem people are the pirates. And Shem people are not just the pirates. Love to shop a Kita, or excuse me, shop a Dika, A D I K A. Go support the Ak. Because when they take other websites down, the fact that the bro reposted this like this on his site allows me to keep the water flowing when they're playing with our website. You know what I'm saying? So, A Hop Car, a Dika, you know what I mean? Yeah. We're talking an entire empire ruled under the house of David. Swan boats, beautiful gliding white swan. <laughs> We're talking royals, man. Bravos, Baba. So these pirates, these Seminoles, these Shem, we're talking Shem when we know we're talking Babar, because Babar is the Hebrew word of the day. The Hebrew. The Hebrew word of the day. And it's referring to the Hebrew Ka, Solima. Who's the hereditary ruler, right? So he's just following suit of his father. It's, it's more just that the magnifying glass went to Florida because they were fighting the Moors. Oh, America, okay. America was fighting the Moors. They remember they're looking for uh, the founder of youth in Florida at the same damn time. In North Africa. Africa. As, as soon as, as that war ended, ended we, we unofficially started fighting, fighting the Moors in South, South Florida. Florida. Uh, not in 1830 you didn't, because those Moors, those Moabites had a treaty of peace and friendship with the good old USA. So you're fighting other so-called black people in Florida, like the Seminoles, under the house of David. Let's go. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, so we so went in and took, took over, over and then we're like, like oh, oh yeah, yeah, by the way. way. He said, we went in and took over. See how they claim these people? This is a sticky thing, man. Because while we say they, they say we. It's almost like just by, they, by heritage, they still got to connect to the invader or the corporation of the USA. We're just brainwashed into thinking we got to say we, right? <laughs> we went in and invaded and said what? Wait, there's, there's a lot, lot of gold, gold here, here and, and now, now it's, it's the richest city, city out there. there. Yes. Whoa, so, bro. Yep. And the when, when the, the first, first railroad got to Key West, West the population plummeted. So think about that. The only way to get there was um, by boat up until uh, early 1900s, 1910s, 1920s, maybe. When the first railroad got to Key West, that flag railroad used slaves to build, right? And Seminoles. They were using Seminoles and slaves to build it. Can I get one more? Can I get one more pink pal? I know y'all did two pink pals. I just need a third pink pal, a trifecta, chicka chicka recta, a to the vecta. On their head bone. First Seminole War. Seminole, Seminole, Seminole. Has everything to do with the coom say. And they use these same Seminoles, these same Chicamago Cherokee, the same Babars, cold word pirates, are the Seminoles, <laughs> are the Kumsay, and then are the Creek, huh? Are the Chicamago. They use the same Chicamago, the same. Seminal to build the railroad. 
um, when they got there, the population decreased. So how does that make sense? If this is the first time that you can actually access it by land, all the people just leave. Makes very little. Very little. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. With a smirk, but I know he doesn't mean it. He's really trying to be a historian. He really trying to be. He really trying to be a his story. So they just went in and killed everybody. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. How did they get the? How did they get to be the riches in eighteen thirty? They just went in and killed every thing. Cause the alchemical serpent kills everything. Natural. Everything natural by law. You know what I mean? Creates the matrix, right? Their version. Their replica. Of the Ma. Ka. Natural by law. Take the wheel. They killed everything. Balls. Why the population keep. Why the population keep decreasing. Because they killed. They kill it. But these Nagas keep fighting though. You know. For some reason these Nagas didn't quit. Which is why you are who you are. Khan. Because you didn't stop fighting back. That's not the slave story. Yeah, you hear about some slave revolts and that turn. My nigga, this is not, this is Nat Turner on nine. You know what I'm saying? There's a whole bunch of Nat Turners. Dragon Canoe, Tacoma saying that, you know, just back to the script. Joshua, right? These, these, these Nagas ain't taking, <laughs> these are different Nagas when it comes to war, man. I never seen this before, but this Madoc reminds me of the Prince Madoc drop, which also connects to Kalelu. Yeah, Drop Nation. <laughs> we up, we talking Seminole building railroads. Let's go. Hey, can we get that back for a stack? I'm gonna let it play back without no interruption. And I need you to apply all that Dragonfly perspective that you just surfed the wave with. No, kill everything that transfers wealth to essentially. The white, the white people, people the new, the new, new white, white people, people. and uh, who's the old? Who's the old whites? I'm gonna let you ponder on that. If there's a new white, where's the old white? Where did they go? It's a more and more war. We're talking status, Lego. That's all there is to his story. Really? Oh, oh my God, God dude. This, this is just so fucking blows my mind, mind because, like, like, you know, this is Sam speaking. speaking. There has been, been a giant, giant psyop against, against the black, black community. Black community. Uh, this, uh, this victimhood, victimhood put on them, them that they, they all came, came here in a, in a fucking boat. boat. Yeah, they try to say you guys are playing victim. You know, they say pick yourselves up. Pick yourselves up. Pick. <laughs> I think these Nuggets did a lot of picking themselves up. I think we've been picking ourselves up. Who are you telling to pick ourselves up? It's only been in the nineteen late nineteen hundreds. I mean, even in the mid, when I got in the seventies, we were still fighting back. Sixties, we were still fighting back. However, we thought to fight back. You had different versions. They kept COINTEL proing us up in the eighties. They come with the crack era, right? They dropping uh, Snow White all over the place. Then we got the gang violence, and now we got gangs and hoods and Bloods and Crips all over the place after that. The bastards of the party, they say. Now you got the 2000 babies, man. What? It's Generation Z's? My nigga, this is this brings us to current times. I need you to understand your current times are connected with this same car key, Cherokee, Seminole, the Kumse, and the Shikramagla that popped it off. You ain't no different than this. If you lost completely, maybe you was a part of the, you know, Israelites that were being invaded by other tribes, just like biblical times. Just like biblical times. We're not victim hoods. We were victims <laughs> of serious invasion. And we can talk about it without you saying that. We plan the victim. But we don't have to be 
victimized in our brain. When we know we out of code, we out of code. If your son or daughter gets their butt whooped because they talking back, they out of code. <laughs> I'm just saying, can they cry victim? So we got our butt whooped because we were talking back. We were disrespecting Hawa. Can we cry victim? So none of us are on that frequency, but uh, we did get invaded for a good amount of years, man. Hey. Hear this again with a dragonfly perspective. Bo oh, defeated, defeated and turned, and turned into, into slaves, slaves, right? When, when in reality, reality they, they discovered, discovered America, America and we're here before, before a lot of Oh, to a terror, terror and barbarian exchange by the Okay, if you're into Tartaria, Tartaria you should be into Barbaria, too, because it's the same word. Tartaria means east of Rome. Because we have a Roman history, guys. Remember, we have a Roman history. Tartaria means east of Rome. Barbarians west of Europe. That's why you have Berbers in North Africa that are black, and you have barbarians in Germany and Scandinavia that are white. It's a Roman perspective history. Okay, so Barbaria and Tartaria are the same thing. Well, in the Barbary Wars, where America was fighting Moors, you're fighting Morocco, Mauritania, um, Algeria, I think, these Moorish countries. That was in the uh, 18, early 1800s, mid 1800s, the Barbary Wars. As soon as we won the Barbary Wars, fighting North African Moorish pirates, what happened in America? The age of piracy in South Florida. The Navy, the U.S. Navy, immediately left North Africa and came to the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean and Key West. And they enacted martial law in Key West in the name of fighting piracy. So who were these pirates that, that they were fighting that just popped up in Key West? Well, Florida was acquired in the late 18-teens, early 1820s, right? Officially. In 1820, there was not a single permanent resident in Key West. By 1830, Key West was the richest city in America. How is that possible? That's crazy, dude. And, and, and we're told that it was all due to pirates that were making such good money and ship records and uh, divers, treasure divers. Well, I guess all these pirates were doing their taxes if, if Florida, you know, if Key West became the richest city in America. And it was the most populated city in Florida. One problem. There was no bridge. <laughs> so what was going on in Key West where it's in a matter of nine years, Went from not having a single person living there to being in America's richest city. What happened? Well, it was pirates. It was the barbers, the berbers, the Seminoles, Semitic the people. But, uh, they they showed, hold on, so, so you're saying, saying they, did. they just they moved just in with all their pirate, pirate booty? booty? It's, it's more just that the magnifying glass went to Florida because they were fighting the Moors. Oh, okay. America, America was fighting the Moors in North Africa. As soon as that war ended, we unofficially started fighting the Moors in South Florida. Okay? Oh, oh, so, so we, we went, went and took over, over and then we're like, like oh, oh yeah, yeah, by the way, there's a lot of gold here, here and now it's the richest city out there. there. Yes. Whoa, so, bro. Yep. And the, when the first railroad got to Key West, the population plummeted. So think about that. The only way to get there was um, by boat up until uh, early 1900s, 1910s, I think, 1920s, maybe. When the first railroad got to Key West, that flagroad, Use slaves to build, right? And Seminoles. They're using Seminoles and slaves to build it. Um, when they got there, the population decreased. So how does that make sense? If this is the first time that you can actually access it by the land, all the people just leave. Makes very little sense. So they went there and killed everybody. Is that what you're saying? Wow. And it says U.S. been fighting the Moors for over 200 years, man. Add it up. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I would ask for a fourth pink pal, but maybe I'm doing too much. I, I don't want to, you know, maybe a couple real knockers can give me a fourth pink pal on this one. Because we just dissected the whole angle with a Dragonfly perspective and got some drop out of it. I think that's a uh, Drop Nation exclusive, man. <laughs> Shout out to Old World Florida. 222 years. Now, I think we've been invaded the whole time. Over 200 years. Over 200 years. No. They there, killed everything, transferred the wealth to essentially the white people, the new, the new white people. And uh, the, you know, that's, that's all there is to the story. 
oh, oh my god, god dude, this, this is just so fucking blows, blows my mind, mind because like you, you know this is sam speaking, speaking. there has been a giant psyop against the black community uh, this victimhood put on them that they all came here in a fucking boat defeated and turned into slaves right when in reality they discovered america Discovered America, we are the barbar. We are the children of King Solomon. We are the children of King David, not on the other side of the world, originating right here in the American Empire. Kalelu, because it's the promised land. We've been taught history in reverse. You must reverse the curse. To break the spell. Say it with me, my naga. Kalelu. Look out for us, man. We up. Having a good time surfing away so far. All right, all right. Ain't no rush. We enjoy world. The water to the fence building nagas and all my nagas supporting our fence. We're back at it. You know, it's a be beautiful thing, my nagas, that, you know, this is a team effort and project my naga and you know what I mean it's like we can really you know make it right you know what I'm saying in the right time you know it's not like okay uh, next week this next month that it's like all right when can I just get together you know all that takes a lot of time a lot of planning a lot of everything man so you've been able to support us so much and we appreciate you and we build a sanctuary one of many my naga, you know what I mean and we look forward to picking up a lot of great work here and uh and building that's where Nagas learn to learn to build, <laughs> learn to have a few conversations around the fire pit, man. And look out for the Soul Bone Podcast. Hit us up. Soul Bone S O L B O N E podcast on IG. And uh just look out for us, man. <laughs> Shout out to the cons, man. Hey, we really building behind the scenes, man. And that's all I'm gonna tell you, man. I'm really excited for the Soul Bone Podcast. And sometimes we go out on the land and just chop it up. In the shed, man. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, my naga, my negus. Uh, shout out to, shout out to uh, Spice One, man. Uh, DJ Vlad, Vlad TV. Uh, this clip is from uh, Vlad TV. Let me make sure I get a fair use because you know we're just doing this for educational purposes. So I like to say uh, fair use uh, section one hundred and seven. Fair use in your caboose bone, my nagas. Uh, we're going to do some criticism, some comments, news reporting, teaching, scholarships, and some research. We like to call it uh, recon. We like to call it recon, man. So let us get some <laughs> get some recon going off this uh, Vlad clip, man. Spice One's talking about the naga. Really, like, I've never heard no one really talk about the naga. Like, you know, you know, it's... It's the way he's delivering a message, man, that I think only, man, this OG Spice One could do it. So I'm really grateful, man, the most high is really putting a message on these cons, man, that got so much influence that, you know, didn't make certain deals and make certain treaties that maybe other people in the so-called industry did. I, I can't confirm or deny anybody. And even if they did, you know, people made mistakes, man. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes they want to repent, try to get off that. It ain't for us to knock them up over the head. It's like, man, I can see, okay, you you made that treaty the same way as, the, as these uh, <laughs> uh, treaties of peace and friendship. A lot of them feel sorry for the treaties they made. You know, it's not for us to hit them over the head. It's for Hawaii, you know what I'm saying, to handle that. So, you know, even with uh, people in the industry, man, we try to listen up sometimes and get the babies out the bathwater. Because we say nigga, <laughs> they say nigga. It's all the same thing, niggas. My ball, we all know what, what does, does that, that word mean? N I G G A is spelled one way, but I'm talking about N E G U. N E G U. That means team. Mm. Means, means God. God. King. Hey, shout, shout out to Spice, Spice One, one Man. <laughs> I mean, talking talking semantic, semantic, you can't, can't be anti shim when you're shim. We're talking, talking to, to Rain. Rain. 
We're not just about love. We're talking. We're talking king. We're talking dragon king. We're not. We're talking that goose. We're talking king. Talking that frequency talk. Yeah, man. <laughs> we just, just calling, calling out the receipts around here. Man. What, what does it mean? Nigger, nigger, nigger. Is it nigger? Nigger, nigger, nigger. Nigger, you're just changing the vowels, my nigger. We're, We're just, just talking vowels. Say it with me, man. Vowels. We're, We're just, just talking, talking the energy. energy. We talk consonants. Ka, ka. Yeah, man, the word nigga is derived from the word niggas. Royal title for Ethiopia. Where's Ethiopia? Uh, my, my, my way, way of service already right know. We, we, we already know. African, African kings, kings, Americans, all, all this is Ethiopia. Ethiopia is a Greek word, word Ethiopia. Burnt face, right? Fiery looking. Who's the fiery looking naga? Who's the fiery looking dragon? Uh oh. Say say radio radio queen, 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 frequency. You keep keep code, code. You keep keep commandments. To raise your frequency. frequency. Man. Man. Now, now you are popping, popping off. off. Hey. Spice, Spice one. one. He got, he got the drop. In the Hebrew, Egyptian language. Nigga means <laughs> The Hebrew, Hebrew Egyptian, Egyptian language, right? right? Yeah, we're yeah, talking we talk about, about the Yogi, we're talking about, about the Kang, the Kang. We're talking about the Ethiopian, right? The Shemitic. Shem, Hebrew, right? Sons of Noah, right? After, after the flood, flood right? After, after Atlantis, God, God. we talk talking King. King. We talk talking Kang, Kang. Which, which means priest. You got a priest king. Huh? It's like, it's like, like we don't like we act like that, that is. That's, that's not, not what it means. The word means king. The word means king. Just spelled different out here in America. Let's go. Because the word means king. That means God. We call each other gods and kings. It's like nobody's like recognizing that that's what that word means. Nobody's taking it to the and by guys it's just talking about like exalted you know what i'm saying like you know you're you know you're from royalty like a royal you know what i'm saying not like worship this and worship we're talking royalty you know what i'm saying royalty must connect to a royal source and if we don't have that royal source then we're not kings we're not queens if we're not connected to Hawa, to our breath. If we don't have a secure breath, what's the point of being a king or a queen? You don't have no breath. <laughs> and you don't got no security. What's a kingdom without security? King Solomon. I'm talking uh, uh, Proverbs chapter 4. We're talking about getting a fortified kingdom. We had to be fortified without the fortification. Remember, wisdom is the conqueror of fortune. Mama. It's the conqueror of fortune. You, what's the point of having fortune if you have no breath or security? That's existence. That's ah, wow. The Hebrew word of the day, the root word, H1961. Hey, ah, wow, wow means existence. The fourth and the fifth letter of the Hebrew, ah, wow, means breath, ah, existence. To exist, to reveal breath. <sighs> wow, foundation, security. A tent peg gives you security, foundation. Or else you're going to blow away in the wind, right? Spice one is <laughs> on the nine. Nobody oh, see it clearly. clearly. Let's go. Talking about the cars. Let's go. This, this is, is, I mean, who's called the names, names right? right? Look, Look up, up in the dictionary, they only refer, refer to. to uh, black people, African Americans, or Native Americans. First was the word nigger used towards Native Americans. Now you can connect, uh, you know, the frequency. The same people are the Naga, the Neg, the Negus, right? God, hmm. to rain, my Naga. I need you to soak this in. 
Because, you know, we're always running on to running away. It's like some power thing. But you take all the power away. They're going to ask him, so what if somebody's calling you a nigger? He just, he said, he's just calling me a king. He just don't know it. Damn, you just took all the power away. And that's alchemy, man. Man, that's alchemy, man. What they got in the Mary? That goose. Okay, it's a beverage. I need some of that in the goose. I need some of that in the goose. Oh, wait. Uh, my bad. Okay, right. <laughs> Use the title of the sovereign. Again, Ethiopia is just wherever the burnt face, fiery looking people are, whether we're talking east or we're talking west. Because the word just means king. Come. America. America is just a small, it's a small place on this map. The real, the, real, the real origin of the word means king, means God. Well, y'all want to get a couple more, man? I'm just, hey, man, just, just come on to IG, man. Enjoy the flow. Enjoy the way, man. My Nikes is, is really just, you know what I mean, providing so much um, so much fresh, you know what I'm saying, ether every day, man, you know what I mean? And that's just really dope. You know, I'm really proud and honored, man, to serve this way with you, Drop Nation, wherever we are. You know what I mean? And, again, our website's coming back hot, just you know, we're under construction right now, and we're coming back even way more organized and way more fluid with all the stuff, man. Um, so, you know, this is just uh, one piece, you know what I'm saying, of a beautiful painting, a beautiful uh, vision, my Naga, and we all are the collective con, you know what I mean, in this vision. Because we see clearly, man. This is a beautiful day, a beautiful top of the soul. I wanted to share it with y'all, man, and this is how we wake up <laughs> enjoy world and you see this picture it looks you know what i mean just just imagine what it's gonna look like man imagine what we're gonna build here you know what i'm saying and don't have to be no pressure you know what i'm saying we're just gonna enjoy taking team building missions man and you know building up you know what i'm saying something for our future you know what i mean and inspiring others to do the same man and trapping up with all my nagas in nagaville all across the plane, so the water to all the cars. Y'all see this map? It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. What does Georgia and Florida have to do with Ethiopia and the Garden of Eden? I mean, it's a you know, simple question. <laughs> Sometimes it's right in your face ball. Right in your face ball. Yeah. Hey, shout out to uh, Old World Florida, man. Ethan J. Bradley, all the cars. 
Yeah. Chattanooga. Ch- Chattahoochee. Chattahoochee. Yeah, man, we're just talking about America, Georgia, Florida. But we're also talking Ethiopia, which is why I was saying early, you know, that Ethiopia is a Greek term. Burnt face, fiery looking people. It's not just referring to Africa like they do on the current maps, you know what I mean? Ethiopia is a general term that comes from the Greeks, man. So get out the mind of a hijack. Yeah, let's go. Great flat drop. Great flat drop. You know, uh, we're going to get back on a flat drop, but perspective is everything. If you're spinning on a ball, if you think this is a ball in outer space, spinning at a thousand miles per hour, man, I, I don't know, you know, I can't, I can't get you still. I, I can't get you focused because you're spinning at a thousand miles per hour. But if you, you know, trust in something that has been proven straight up because it hasn't been disproven gravity hasn't been proven it's a theory not a law uh you are firm fixed and movable by all standards you know you shoot a missile up straight up it's gonna come right back down it's not gonna fall in a different location because you spin it at a thousand miles per hour uh you can't take a helicopter up while your ball is spinning and land it in the same spot or excuse me land it in some other spot because you're spinning at a thousand miles per hour you should be able to hover up in your helicopter man and go back down and now you're in china because you're spinning at a thousand miles per hour the sun the moon the stars are within the rakia firmament the rakia refers to something solid a solid expanse i beat it out i met it out i met it out the Firmament Rakia with my right hand. I met it out. I beat it out. We're talking a crystallized barrier that has gateways and chambers, upper seas, great deep. The online Merriam Webster dictionary defines it this way the upper atmosphere or expanse of space that constitutes an apparent great vault or arc over the earth. So when you talk firmament, you're talking the great vault, my naga, which is, again, something that is firm, something that is solid, arc over the earth. That's not a spinning ball. There's no arc. There's no great vault on a spinning ball. Quote, the region of the clouds or the upper air, the ether, my naga, the upper atmosphere of the earth, the heavens or firmament appearing as a great arc or vault. The creator has created a separation. Let's get it bigger. The creator has created a separation. Waters from waters. We are not talking about a spinning ball in outer space. Simply waters above and waters below. The water is the vortex. The Most High made the vault and separated the water under the vault from the water above it. Genesis 1 and 7. One day we would not need the firmament. We would not need a separation. And hence we would not need the sun or the moon for lights anymore quote thy sun shall no more go down neither shall thy moon withdraw itself for hawa shall be your everlasting light isaiah 60 remember the sun and moon were created on the fourth day but let there be light happen on the first day the first day light right and hawa said let there be light and there was light Hawa saw the light, that it was good, and Hawa divided the light from the darkness. Genesis 1 and 3. On the fourth day, you got the sun, moon, and stars created. The creator said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament. Of the heaven to give light upon the earth and it was so the creator made two great lights the greater light to rule the day the lesser light to rule the night he made the stars also genesis 1 14 we are firm fixed and immovable first chronicles 16 30 he has fixed the earth firm immovable psalms 93 1 thou has fixed the earth immovable and firm Psalms 96.10, he has fixed the earth firm, immovable. Psalms 104.5, 
Thou hast fixed the earth on his foundation. By knocking like a tent peg, foundation. He stretched it out like a tent, right? Isaiah 40. So that it never can be shaken. The throne of our creator is the greater life. And this will again be our life forever. When all returns to one and we keep our code. Exodus 20 got us in code. Allow. <gasps> wow. Flat drop 101. Flat drop 101. Shout out to my IXX strong, man. I see you, man. We are in the firmament. Shout out to Vibe or Z. Hey, man. Just a little orientation pies. Just a little orientation angelatas, man. Yeah, man. We moving, man. Uh, a couple more, man. We out of here, man. Man, so much good stuff. This is kind of funny, man. Uh, <laughs> these plants seem to remember. The Soviet Union leads scientists to believe that plants may think. Attached to delicate electronic instruments, the cabbage plant registers annoyance to the exhaling of tobacco smoke on its leaf surfaces. Hmm. Yeah, you like that. A scene yeah. familiar in any kitchen takes on special importance in this experiment. In some mysterious way, the plant which is attached to the instrument is able to feel the mutilation of its comrade. In a more advanced experiment, technicians were asked to pass through a laboratory containing two living cabbage plants. One of the subjects has been instructed to destroy the plant which is not attached to the electronic instruments. Mm. Mess with the homie, mess with the homie. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, no. Hi, Jackson. Hours later, the technicians are asked to return to the scene of the crime. The evidence is clear. The remaining plant has correctly identified the assailant. He don't like her. He don't like her. He don't like her. Conducted in the Soviet Union, lead scientist. That's dope. I mean, you don't think our trees remember? You don't think the plants are alive? Okay. All right. Man, we out of here on this one, man. And we're going to uh, get some great drop. Man, I, got, I just got some great drop. Y'all been sharing, man. I just got some great stuff to share. Who's this man? In America, what they are today. The, they don't want you to know that. See, the Moors ruled most of the Iberian Peninsula for the 8th century, and they draw things like mathematics, sciences, architecture, agriculture, art, science, basically everything that we consider modern day Europe. But that's supposed to be a secret. They are actually the ones that are responsible for bringing Europe out of the Dark Ages and into the Renaissance. But again, you're not supposed to know that. Meanwhile, while the Christian Europe had an illiteracy rate of 99% and zero universities and zero libraries, more they had 17 17 again more is great right we're not just talking moab right? we're talking israelites we're talking you know what i'm saying all the people that would be um you know considered black today different tribes but yeah overall you know we was already popping off we already know this let's go in universities, in seven cities, and over 70 libraries, and then they introduced their education system to Europe. Dang. There was a man called Zuriao, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but he was a boy, and he actually pioneered changing clothes based on the season. That's how dumb Europeans were at the time. They didn't even... What? They also invented deodorant, daily bathing, and invented toothpaste. Like, no wonder the Black Flag destroyed Europe. They were filthy. Zuriao also introduced a three-course meal. Soup, main course, dessert, and the more they even introduced crops that are still prominent in Spain today. More cities also had street lights, hospitals, and running water. And street lights and paved streets weren't even introduced in London and Paris for another couple hundred years. Or they're also the ones that built the aqueducts that brought running water from the mountains down to the cities, which gave Europe running water. The father of modern surgery was also a moor. In Alice, Europe and America, what they are today. Hey, 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 man, hey, the more you know, man. <laughs> more means great. More means great. Oh, man. Hey, never forget, man. Never forget. Never forget, man.
They try to put their hand on your shoulder, Jack. Come up with a, are you gay? Are you gay? <laughs> never again. Never forget it. Never, um, you know, never get out your mind bone why all these churches got to be on every corner. This actually leads us into some great drop, man. So I'm glad we stumbled on this. It also lets you know what these Nagas uh, was looking like. You know what I'm saying? So we talk Shikamagua, Shikamagua, Tacombsay, Seminole Creek, all that, Choctaw. Okay. We When we talk Swan Knights and Barbars and Pirates, Piracies, okay. We talk Key West, Florida, okay. Huh? Huh. Never forget, my life. Never forget. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think that's a good lead in, man. I mean, it's a lot, it's a lot going on on the IG. And we ain't, you know, we ain't done talking about, you know, this map drop. When we talk about these Ishmaelites, we still talking about these Moors, right? How they coming into Kentucky. You remember that whole drop we did, man? So press the something, press the hundred and such and such, or maybe press the 80 something. I don't know. Y'all tell me, man. But yeah, we got a holy mountain of harmonics. Now, typical news right here. And this whole typical new drop is all around the Tecumseh drop. And this is happening in the, <laughs> the 1800s, right? This is right. 1785. Remember, they started to pop off in 1786. We're going to get back to this, don't you? Don't you? All right? United States. 1776. Right, 1786 is right around the P Treaties of Pieces and Friendship. Boom. So they are already invaded for 10 years, and now the Ishmaelites want to migrate <laughs> into Kentucky and Indianapolis. Indianapolis, right? This is Con Central. And it's a big-ass mountain of harmonics, and this is when they want to put Morocco, uh, Morocco, and their Muhammad, right? And then we got these glacier, uh, glaciation lines and all this stuff letting you know that we're coming out of an ice age because there's glaciers connected with this America, <laughs> right? Look at the legend. Limit of glaciation, approximate edge of glaciation lines. We're talking glaciation. So when you see that little dot, 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 all these dot, dot, dots are glaciers, glaciation lines that were and now no longer are. So what does all this harmonics got to do with glaciation and an ice age? And what does that got to do with Antarctica? We got a lot to talk about. What does that got to do with their Mecca? And what the hell are the Ishmaelites migrating here fighting against? Remember 1785? You think they're fighting for the Kunse or against the, the Shikamaga, against the Kunse? <laughs> if the Kumse had to even go to war with the Choctaw Monaga, then you know the Ishmaelites were not rocking with the Kumse. They were coming in as reinforcements in the more and more war for the promised land. <sighs> Mountain of harmonics. Yeah, we got a lot of talking to do. We got a lot of talking to do. Got a lot of talking to do. Would you say, Denzel? What what Denzel say? Is is the sheep preaching hate when he says I'm not gonna let the wolf eat me anymore? If the wolf comes in here, next time he comes in here, I'll do whatever I have to do to keep him off my back. Is the sheep violent or is the wolf the violent one? He wasn't. Is is the sheep preaching hate when he says I'm not gonna let the wolf eat me anymore? If the wolf comes in here, next time he comes in here, I'll do whatever I have to do. To keep him off my back. Is the sheep violent or is the wolf the violent one? Is the Kumse violent for saying, get these mother suckers off my land? No more treaties. Stop giving them thousands of acres. They're just hijacking us. They're slaughtering our women. They're slaughtering our children. Is the Kumse the violent one? Is the Shikamago violent? 
But since they are the ops of America, and remember, oh, remember. First of all, <laughs> Ty Bazano, Ty Bazano, American. We're just talking about you. Copper color cons, you were just found here. Newsflash, it's in the dictionary. But you need to know the Europeans also look like you. It's a more and more war. Spain, Italy, right? All that. Found here. So, what's anti American? Anti. Oh, look, it, pop, it pops right up. Let's read the definition. Anti American, opposed to America or to the true interest or government of the United States, opposed to the revolution, revolution, revolution in America. Now, who's doing the revolution in America? What, what's a revolution? Oh, you thought you knew, right? You thought you knew. <laughs> In physics, it's a rotation, so something is changing completely. <laughs> All right. In politics, a material or entire change. All right, go back. Entire change. So if you're opposed... <laughs> To the entire change in America. <sighs> Come on. If you're opposed to the entire change in America, you're opposed to this America revolution, right? Which wants to do an entire change on the head bone of Dragon Canoe to Kumse and the Shikamawa, which is just renamed after a river of death. So many Nagas died around this river. They just called these Nagas the Shikamawa. River of death, but I... So much death had to happen for them to reach a complete entire change. More death for the Babar, right? More death for Tukumse and the Swan Knights. More death. All this is for them to reach a complete change, all this death has to happen. War, war, war. Because this America, this corporation, has been at war the entire time. And if you're anti their complete change, you're anti-American. What if you're anti Tecumseh's complete change? Are you then anti-American? <laughs> So, if you're anti the change of the, I mean, who's the real American? Tecumseh or the hijack invading? And if it's Tecumseh, then the real definition of anti America is if you're anti Tecumseh's complete entire change. And what's his change? To get the hijack off the mother sucking land. To unite the tribes once again in code. This is the Israelite last stand in 1812, Manaya. And it wasn't just, it didn't just die off, right? <laughs> so when, I repeat, when did you have time to make a good homeborn slave, Israel? Asherah, are you a homeborn slave? Were you always a slave? Or were you in favor of defending your land from their revolution, from their entire change? To do your own revolution, to make an entire change on the hijack, on the invasion. You want to entirely change the invasion, bring it back to peace. That covenant of peace is with Dawi, Psalm 89. You want to make an entire change? It's 
Psalm 89. As we get to get to making our dismount, we're going to do a couple quick drops, man. I'm just, maybe I'm over dropping, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm just so excited to drop. <laughs> Jeremiah 48, thus says, a wav Israel, woe unto Nebo. We're talking Moab, for it is spoiled. Karatham is put to shame and is taken. Misgob is put to shame and dismay. The praise of Moab is no more. Because it's a more and more war. We've been having this issue, my naga. Joshua was supposed to take care of this. They let these nagas through the back door. They said there'll be a covenant in our side. <laughs> they've been, a, excuse me, they said there'll be a thorn in our side against our covenant. And they've been a thorn in our side against our covenant. Covenant of peace, I say. Psalm 89 ain't no play play. A foot of dismount. La wa. I will sing the mercies of the mercies, the mercies, because Hawaii forgives forever. To all generations will I make known your faithfulness with my mouth, for I have said, forever is my mercy, is mercy built. In the very heavens thou dost establish thy faithfulness. I have made a covenant. I said the covenant of peace is with thy it's with David, thy we. I have made a covenant with my chosen. Who's the chosen? I have sworn unto David. 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 <laughs> they want to replace David with J.C. in the New Test. He's a son of David. He's a son of David. How, Sway? He's an immaculate conception. How can he be a how can he be born <laughs> of an immaculate conception? The virgin just has birth. And he's a son of David. How's that genealogy? He can't be the seed of David if he's an immaculate conception. He's the seed of God, right? Ain't that enough to be the son of God? No. No, Sway. <laughs> Jesus is God. Oh, no. Blasphemy. Now you are out of code severely. Rule number one, most high over everything. Jesus ain't God. Now you're calling on another power. Monaga's come up out of her. Hijack city. The covenant is with Dawi. I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David. Forever will I establish your seed and build up your throne to all generations. You read the rest. Let's go. Psalms 89. It's to Kum say the violent one. Would you say Denzel? He wasn't. Is, is the sheep preaching hate when he says, I'm not going to let the wolf eat me anymore. If the wolf comes in here, next time he comes in here, I'll do whatever I have to do to keep him off my back. Is the sheep violent or is the wolf the violent one? He wasn't. Is, is the sheep preaching hate Is it preaching hate to say, get out of my house? We've been invaded in your house. It's a lot of drop popping off, Naga. You know, this is your house after all. What's up with Thought the Moving Island, man? We, we might touch on some Thought the Moving Island and all these. Uh, matter of fact, there's a couple of videos that my Naga's been, naga been dropping. I just pulled them up. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to you know, play a couple 
but it did smell, man. But this is more than last beyond the poles. I mean, look, my nigga, when you over here surfing the wave, you're going to get flat drop, one-on-one, -on -one, a lot of map drop. <laughs> you're going to remember your code. You're going to not... You're going to nine spiral up because you are the nine spiral. But now you are going to frequency up in that 432. You're going to get out of that 440 high jack McDonald's of frequency. <laughs> You're going to unify as a collective Mashiach. Save yourselves, right? Because it's in you, right? It's in you. It's in us. And most definitely you're going to get that indigenous truth you're going to connect to your roots right here at home but where's home <laughs> and what are these lands beyond the barrier shout out nas confounded they call this a mythological king and queen and some um imaginary mythical far off land well i think india superior is a far off land for them America is a far off land for them. Shout out to Selinka and Lelusco. We're talking operas. We're talking the opera. Yeah, they turned you into a myth, man. They know <laughs> that this is a body bag for the illusion. The Almec are connected with Sylvanus to Texas. And that put it right in your face, ball. It hits different, right? <laughs> FYB, J. May. Right quick, shout out to the con FYB, J. May, man. You know, I see a lot of unity happening in Chicago based on the creativity of, you know, uh, my noggins in Chicago, man, bringing, bringing it back together again. And it got as worse as it can possibly get, my noggin. Now it's time to get better in the quick, in the quick fast. You know what I'm saying? We got to get better at warp speed, man. Cause the hits just keep on coming from hijack city but my nagas you keep dropping that drop hey hop culture 24 let go We killed all the black guys that were here. Well, I mean, you know, unless you're anti-American. <laughs> we killed all the copper color races found here by the European. Hey, somebody say, uh, leave a body bag for the illusion in the comments. If I see body bag for the illusion, I know that you've been surfing the wave the whole time. You know, they, they try to condition us to making little short drops and snippets all the times. But I know my real car, my real noggins really like to sit back and get cozy with they drop. They like these <laughs> cozy hours we put in. So I'm grateful to do it again with y'all, man. Hey, Copper Cons all the way up. Found here. <sighs> we killed all the Copper Cons found here. It does hit different, right? J Man does hit different, man. <laughs> I see y'all working, man. Con up. We brought in new black guys. So you weren't the ones getting off the ships, Con. They had to bring in somebody else to be the slaves. Because when did you have time to be a slave? They had to bring in new black guys, right? They had to bring in new melanated people because you, melanated people, kept fighting. Seminole Wars, Creek Wars, Cherokee Indian War. They had to bring in new black guys. When did you have time to be a slave, black man, black man? <laughs> You've been fighting the whole damn time in the Philippines. You've been fighting in Vietnam, Korea. My noggin is everywhere fighting. Shika Mago, Shika Mago, Shika Mago. They had to bring in new black guys to America. Because America was already at war with the OGs. Copper color con. Con, con. We, we, we just surfing the way. Jesus like a bar of soap. 
They brought in JC like a bar of soap to wash away their sins to this day. Hijack City. Get out of her. You're worshiping the God that allows you to get away with murder and wash your sins away in the blood like a sacrifice. That's heathenistic. We don't wash our sins away. We got to uh, tribe up and keep the code. You just got to start doing better. <laughs> you got to start coding up. We don't just get to keep on slaughtering and washing our sins in the blood of Jesus. Nah. A while takes us our transgression into full accountability. My brother don't have to suffer because of my transgression. But if my brother do suffer, then I got to get it that much worse. Because I caused my brother to suffer. Because I was out of code. Because I was out of code. That's how we take accountability. We don't wash our sins away. And someone who died for our sins 2,000 years ago and 2,000 years later, 2,000 years later, 2,000 years later, they forgot the covenant. That's what died we. 2,000 years later, they forgot all these Nagas dying still. What happened to the blood of JC? Oh, they're just... They don't know the son, so they can't get to the father. Really? Or did they have to atone for their own out of coldness? Did we have to atone for our own sins, right? We don't get to wash them away in the blood of JC, or else this never needed to happen. If the blood of JC could wash all our sins away, we would have never been slaughtered all this time. We had to go get that work. The blood of JC could not save us all this time. We had to keep the code to start getting our awareness and say, wait a minute, man, we we under hijack, we under invasion. We behind enemy lines. <laughs> we behind enemy lines, dog. What you mean? Nah, man. Nah, man. <laughs> Thy favor, our horn, is exalted. And in your favor, Hawa, our horn is exalted. For of Hawa is our shield. The Holy One of Israel is our king. Then thou spoke in vision to your godly ones, Negus, right? And said, I have laid help upon one that is mighty. I have exalted one chosen out of the people. I have found David, my servant, with my holy oil have I anointed him. David is anointed with the holy oil directly from Hawaii. <laughs> you can't play play on David, but that's why Jesus wants to be, uh, you know, he wants to clout chase off the name of the anointed name of David. They made him a son of David to clout chase off this anointed covenant. He can't just be son of God. Ain't he an immaculate conception? He's not the seed of David. He's an immaculate conception. He's a miracle born of a virgin. He can't be anointed God because he's not the seed of David because the house of David holds the covenant of Shalawah. He's the anointed God. Yeah. Yeah. I will anoint him firstborn. Managa. Now they say he's the son. Who's the son? David is the son. Highest of the kings of earth, Managa. This is the earth kind, man. This is the earth kind when you encode. But a shepherd needs a flock and you got to code up. Or else there's no need for a shepherd if you're not in code because there's no flock. Forever will I keep for him my mercy and my covenant shall stand fast with him. His seed, we ain't talking JC, no. I will make to endure forever. That's you, my naga. And his throne as the days of heaven forever. And his children if his children forsake my law, uh-oh, <laughs> uh-oh. 
Now we see why we've been going through the more and more war, right? We have forsaken the code. This is very important and very clear. If you're not walking in the code, if you profane the code, you don't keep the code, Exodus 20. I will visit their transgression with the rod. Managa, why are we on the bottom and not the top? The top, why are we the tail and not the head? I will visit their transgression with the rod. This don't excuse the hijack. This lets us know that we are in control. We got to code up or else we got terror. Terror on the Shikamaku. Karaka. A wah. And their iniquities with strokes. But my mercy will I not break off from him. It's all good, cause A wah got mercy forever. I will not break it off. Nor will I be false to my faithfulness. My covenant will I not profane, nor alter that which has gone out of my lips once I have sworn my holiness. Surely I will not be false unto David, because I said his seed going to endure. His seed shall endure forever. In his throne as the sun before me, it shall be established forever as the moon. And be steadfast as the witness in the sky. We have a covenant. We got a covenant of Shalawa. <laughs> Dig on it. But thou has cast off and rejected. Thou has been wroth with thine anointed. You've been Mad at your own anointed prophets, cons, priest con, prestors, chiefs. Thou has abhorred the covenant because they've been trying to get you in code. You've been mad at the code, say. You abhorred your own. <laughs> You've abhorred your own anointed. Let's go. It is different, right? It is different. Hey, man, just keep eating your fruits and veggies and get your H302 and hydrate, man, because uh, that water's going to keep flowing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> get your hydration up. So much more I want to share, man, but you know, you get it, you get it. Keep surfing the wave, cons. Uh hey, why not jump into this for the dismount? We're talking J C, we're talking hijack city. We might have to talk twenty twenty drop for the dismount. J C what? J C who? Nah, back back. So who's their uh, black Christ of Esquipulas? Have you reconned the black Christ of Esquipula? Well, this is a symbol, my naga, right? This is a symbol, right? However diverse the origin stories of the various devotion images of our Lord of Esquipulas, almost all provide an explanation for the black skin color, with most attributing it to a miraculous transformation, my naga, all right? Occasioned by divine will. But now they say your skin is a curse, right? But let's stay focused. Who's this idol? Our research indicates that the majority of the acts of miraculous revelation attributed to the black Christ. Because this is the first image they put in your head, but what did it symbolize and why do you hold on to it today? Let's go. 
convey a clear sense of indigenous identity. Stop. So the black Christ that they set up in our consciousness that we can't get away from Yahweh Shah is the identity of the indigenous. Because this black Christ conveys a clear sense of indigenous identity. Based on our analysis, the figure symbolizes the condition and the fate of the indigenous population as a suppressed, aren't you being suppressed, exploited, multi-ethnic people who can only find hope in the martyred Christ. Why? Why, my naga, can you only find hope in this image that they're giving us? Why can we only find hope in this image? Because this martyr Christ, like them, he was persecuted by his enemies who consigned him to the cross, right? Or the tree. The crucifixion, therefore, should be understood as a reflection. As a what? As a reflection. As a who? Did it happen or is it a reflection of the suffering, the suppression, the exploitation, Let's go. It's a reflection and a Christianized reedification, reedification of the drama of the Spanish conquest. So this symbol is a reflection of what happened to you and your suffering. The drama of the Spanish conquest, Monaga, is the. This is the symbol of your conquest. Don't you get it? That's why it's buried deep in your psyche. It was beat into you, Monaga. Convert or die. The Lord's resurrection offers to indigenous people a symbolic space of resistance. Oh no, you don't get real resistance. You get symbolic resistance. The indigenous get a symbolic space of resistance. As well as hope for their own liberation. You hope for it. But did that character ever bring you liberation? Did he ever bring you to the promised land? So we're talking about a symbolic hope. Con. The original syncretinism of the image. That means they're fusing shit together that don't belong together. <laughs> it's fusion of symbols from the pre-Hispanic Mesoamerican. That means before we're calling anything Hispanic over here. Before we're calling anything Spain or Spanish over here. It's pre-that. As well as Christian imageries. I eventually linked to commercial agents who broadcast the image, broadcast, casting spells with an image, loses meaning when confronted with the ethnic blending that resulted from Spanish conquest. First, indigenous people and later mixed race mestizos symbolically reappropriated the image, making black Christ their own. Yahweh Shai, right? Body, you body. made it your very own. Exodus 20, what's rule number one, my naga? Thou shalt have no other gods before me, right? Bang. Oh, all praise of the Creator in the name of the Son, right? In the name of this other God that's now taking the power. Thou shalt not make unto you a graven image. But we grow up with this in our house, right? Grandma got it up. Everyone got up this image that's only representing our struggle, nor any matter of likeness of anything above or beneath or in the water, under the earth. All right, you don't bow down and you don't serve them. Oh, give all power unto me. You don't serve them. Number one, no other powers, no images. Especially my naga, graven ones. This is why we're in captivity. This is why we don't have our land back. This is why you don't have your gold. This is why you don't have no peace. And this is why you don't have no security. Because you made Black Christ your very own. It different. Oh man, my naga, they gave you all the drop. Our research indicates that the majority of the acts of the miraculous revelation attributed to this black Christ Yahweh convey a clear sense of indigenous identity. Why? Because based on our analysis, the figure symbolizes the condition and fate of the indigenous people. 
that this character symbolizes you. That's why they gave it to you. That's why they created it to put in your psyche. You are the suppressed and exploited. And now we can only find hope in the martyred Christ. You got to go through the martyred Christ to find Hawa. You got to go through the image. What's rule number one? No graven images, my nag. Image. No graven images, my nag. Because they gave you an image that looked just like you, the Amaru Khan, the priest Khan. Right, because it's originally applied to the originals, the copper color nagas, and this is why they gave you an image that looks like you. An image, my naga, nah, they didn't give you the real Joshua, right? <laughs> they gave you their anointing, right? Jesus, hell Zeus, Jesus, hell Zeus. There's no J, remember that. So it's originally Jesus, the name of Jesus is. A 400 year old name approximately because the English language never had a J till then. This is very important because it said in the Bible, by one name shall you be saved. So it becomes frighteningly important because it is a recent name, a recent name not known by the Almighty. In fact, the original KJV had the name Jesus inside, man. All right. <laughs> so this is modern situation you're calling on modern frequencies then the flip side of the subject we have the greek god zeus who is the representation of the sun god right you go to church on a sunday who is the devil as known by the ancient cultures so this satan is a is a trickster and he gave us a fake joshua yeah you're gonna have to know the difference between zeus and isus right same thing Breaking the druid magic spell. We're in a spell, okay? Okay? So when they bring us, when they bring us their Jehovah, we're going to break that down too, man. Stay in it. We're coming in hot. The most powerful of Satan's principalities is called Zeus, right? The prince agrees. Zeus plays second fiddle to nobody, not even Jupiter, really. Zeus is Jupiter. Satan's demons have all these different names. Zeus is the head demon of the Greek hierarchy. In Britannica, the head demon is Jesus, my naga. All they did was put a J in front. Zeus and Jesus always demand bloody human sacrifices. Now you eating his body, right? Uh, uh, flesh in my flesh, bone in my bones, passing the blood around. Communion. What do you think they're really doing in Saturnalia? Communion. Especially when you bring in this raw character because you're just talking Jesus. Bang. Because to bring it on home, we got to go back to the beginnings, man. We're talking about the sacred Mayan documents, the Papu Va, all right? This is the beginning of the ancient traditions of this place called Quiche. We're talking the root people. We're talking the root, right? We're getting to the root. Here we shall gather the manifestation, the declaration, the account of the sowing and dawning by the framer and the shaper, Managa. That's mama and father. That's ha and wa. Wow. My framer, one that brings, that puts something together who makes something by putting things together we're talking wisdom a meal from various ingredients we're talking mama shaper refers to one who is making something by modeling we're talking about pottery from clay i have shaped you i have formed you my naga. this pair of gods was so important that soon after the spanish conquest right the black christ father domenico de vicio called their root names quiche names to refer to the power of the god of the old testament so i'm not breaking this stuff up They've already broken it up, man. Allow wa. Wa. A wa. I mean, one can say when you talk about Esquipulis and their black Yahweh shop, that to hear it in 2023, it just hit different. It just hit different. You surfing away. Let's hear some more. So what happens, man, when they put that J in front? What happens when they tell us to call on this energy that is Zeus? And if you know that it's Zeus, then why? Let's go. Let's go. Not, you know what I'm saying? Call him, uh, you know, Joshua. If, if, if you're okay with the J's, just call him Joshua, right? Because now you're in a situation where you got to choose your Joshua. You got to choose. 
choose who you're giving power to because when you put the chronology back together, all this is happening at the same time, man. Mm -hmm. We're talking the 1100s, we're talking the 1200s, and here's this, here's an ultimate hijacks with your root. So they give us the Zeus and say, this is your this is your Mashiach, right? All power's not been given to this Mashiach, right? And you wonder why we're dying. Because their Zeus demands bloody sacrifice. Their Ra demands bloody sacrifice. Let's go. We wonder why we are being jammed up while we're in this position, man. We got to take it back to the Papa Vuk. You're talking about the framer and the shaper. The framer refers to one who makes something by putting things together. Mama. You're talking about a meal from various ingredients. Let's go. Mama. That's your ha. That's your breath. Your shaper. Your wow. wa. Fifth, fifth in the six letters of the picto paleo. Right? The wow. shaper refers to one who makes something by modeling, putting things together, a sculptor from carved stone, thus giving shape to an otherwise amorphous substance. Mm -hmm. Who gives you shape? That's your vibration. Mm. Who puts it all together? That's mama putting the ingredients together. Now, this pair of powers, right? This framer and shaper, this is the power of the Tanakh. This is your actual power. And they knew that there was a difference between this and the New Testament. It's not drop separating this. They separated from the top, but then they fused it together for your spell. Mm. This pair of gods, right, was so important that soon after your invasion, this Domenico Vizio referred to the god. He used their root names, Framer and Shaper, this T Akul and Bitto, to refer to the power of the old. Testament, Testament, that's the Tanakh. So when we look at this and that's two different energies, one is the Savior over here and the other, you know, the Creator is the Savior. Now you got the Son of David, you're, you're, you're you know what I'm saying, riding with, over here you're rocking with David directly. Over here you got the Son of God you're rocking with. Back there you're rocking with the Creator directly. I mean, you're going to have to connect it. You're going to have to choose your Joshua. You're going to have to choose your Ketzo, my Naga. <laughs> you're going to have to choose your Ketzo, my Naga. Hey, man. Hey, love the Paco, man. We got to take it to the beginning. Mm. Hey, Book of the Beginnings by Gerald Massey, man. Great doc. Ashu and Anhar in Egyptian mythology. And Moses and Joshua conducted their people with the solar orb round the circle of signs overcoming the opposing powers postulated by the early men so in Toltec mythology Sylvanus uh -oh. Toltec Sylvanus Toltec asylum in the building <laughs> Hawa Mak or Hawa Makzin and Quetzalcoatl Quetzal choose your Quetzal <laughs> conducted their people through the pilgrimage and wanderings recorded in picture writings picto Hawa Mak like Moshe wrote the code of laws keep the code for the nation. Mm. So we got an indigenous, you know, name of Moshe Hawama, and then you got an indigenous name of who? Kitsukoto in relation to Hawama plays a part of Joshua. Let's go. Uh oh. Is this true? Because Kitsukoto did lead his people to the promised land. Joshua did lead his people to the promised land. When Kitsukoto began to give the laws, Instead of Hawama, he sent the cry to the top of the mountain of Alcry, whose voice could be heard for 300 miles around. Joshua follows Moses as the leader of Israel and instructs the people to go up against Jericho, his mountain of Alcry, and to sell it with a shout that ought to have been heard at an equal distance. And it was loud enough to make the walls fall flat. The old red land was the name of the original home in the north from which the Toltecs migrated. This is all Israel. Let's go. Their leader, Kitsukoto, war road marked with crosses. <laughs> Choose your Joshua. He has a road marked with crosses. What do they signify? The signal identifies him as the one who crosses. Uh oh. Let's go. Kitsukoto attained the land of promise. He made it to the promised land with the people, with our people. And in his golden reign, an air of weight grew so large that one could hardly carry it. Joshua led the people into the land flow of milk and honey, where a single bunch of grapes was a loaf for two men. Look, man, there's a connection between this Joshua and Kitsukoto. But what do the Mormons call him? 
Man, an ancient American foundation. Hit me up for all these names. I got y'all. Kids of Kodo is who they call Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh-oh, Judy Joshua. The Mormons know something you don't. The Mormons know that the real priest king is Joshua. Uh-oh. Because they're going to put it all together in real time, man. See, the Kitsu was the name of the beautiful bird and resplendent long green feathers and a dainty crest. Kootu is an ancient Mexican word for serpent or dragon. So you got this lofty, beautiful rainbow dragon as Joshua. Thus the name Kitsukoto literally means Kitsu bird, serpent, or dragon. Kitsukoto was the name applied to the New World God or the Mashiach, right? Who was in the form of a man, bearded, white robed, and a great teacher. So you don't even think about Kitsukoto as this bearded man with a white robe, right? And a great teacher of moral principles. That's the law, my nugget. He taught the law, my nugget. We're talking priest and king, right? Joshua is a presser. Joshua is a Mashiach. The Kooto and serpent, or the dragon, and this crest, this rainbow crest, was an ancient symbol of Israel's Messiah. Body bag for, for the illusion. illusion. So choose your Joshua. My knock. Because this Joshua led you to the promised land. This Joshua is a Mashiach. And what did they do? They gave you a fake Joshua Naga. They gave you a fake Joshua Naga. What did they do? Man, what did they do to the Naga? They gave you a fake Mashiach, my Naga. That does what? Only represents what, man? Come on, man. This black Christ conveys a clear sense of indigenous identity. <laughs> it symbolizes the condition and fate of the indigenous people. Mm. They for <laughs> Damn. This is 2020 drop, man. Because you forgot that there is already a first ball. My Hawa. Verse 27, Psalms 89. He shall call unto me, thou art my father, my rock, my salvation. The rock of my salvation, I will appoint him. Firstborn, highest of the kings of the earth. Forever I will keep my mercy, and my covenant shall stand fast with him. My covenant I will not profane. Surely I will not be false unto David. Because I already spoke on it, man. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him. I have made a covenant with my chosen. So they're trying to give you a new chosen, right? <laughs> so who's their uh, black Christ? They're trying to give you a new chosen with a new covenant. Before they this symbol, symbol after they... they Invaded, invaded and, and vanquished you, Papa Boo, Boo Doom Diverse 1452. Then they put this symbol on our people. Now this is what you worship, whether you say you do or don't, because you call on this name. You don't call directly on Hawa. You've forgotten the ancient name. Mm. We're going to continue, man, talking about Hawa, the creator, but Managa, you've forgotten the ancient name Let's of the creator. Go. A highly prominent name was that of Hawa. Wow. It was the most ancient name, Hawa, for the Creator. Ping and it's easily identified from a Hebrew verb meaning to form or to shape or to mold. What? To form or to mold. Back to the Papu Va. Frame or shaper. Refers to one who makes something by moldling. We're talking about giving shape to an otherwise amorphous substance. 
the framer and the shaper are the most frequently mentioned powers involved in the creation of the world and its inhabitants. That's why Domenico de Vizio used their root names to refer to the power of the Old Testament only. Body, body. Only. Because what's rule number one? You should have no power before me, man, beside me. You don't call on nothing else next to me. Every Mashiach just brought you back to the water and said to do what? Call directly on the water only and make no more images, my life. Now what? Because we're bringing it on home. Come. Oh, we're bringing it on home. Come. Right? Because Moses said, what should, what should the people call you? What should the people call you? Call you. Oh, I said I am. <laughs> or what? A I right? Or what? Oh, wow. Hey ya. Oh, we're getting closer. Hey ya. Oh, or what? Oh, because you know, Yahweh, the hypothetical reconstruction of the tetragram and hypothetical, right? Jehovah, right? Based on the assumption of the tetragrammaton is the imperfective of the Hebrew verb what? Hawa, oh, earlier form of Heya. Let's go. Allow <laughs> Hey, if y'all made it, uh, if y'all made it this far, my nigga, you just go ahead and, uh, you know, leave a halal Hawa. You know, leave us with a halal Hawa in the comments, man. Uh, and we'll get back. We got a lot more. Wave surfing on the IG to do, man. A lot more to bring y'all. And excuse our absence, you know, when we take some time, man. Just know we are rebuilding and, and just being reframed, reshaped sometimes. Being uh, renewing our foundation, refortifying, you know, the tempe, the foundation, the vibration. Sometimes you spiral up, sometimes you spiral down. Managa, but you must maintain. To be the wave, my knock. <laughs> hey, out to the cons. Shout out to Drop Nation. Stay up, suit up, and shoes up. And stay on your spiral, my knock. Wow.